Hey Taurus, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. So, going to do your November love reading for Taurus Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. So please remember this is a very general tarot reading. Some of the messages may resonate, some may not. So don't try to force it if it doesn't. Just take what you feel could be meant for you. This reading is, the spread is more done for how the other person is feeling about you, like what's going on with them. Um, if you don't have anyone in mind, then you can check my playlist. I do have some singles up there, uh, singles play, a singles reading. Um, or, you know, you can listen to somebody else, whatever works for you. I'm, I'm cool either way. Um, give me just one second. I forgot something. Sorry about that. I'm usually pretty organized when I start. I just forgot something, my little timer I needed to have. So, okay. Taurus. Um, so yeah, just real quick while I'm shuffling these massively huge cards, I do have now um, on the feature page of my channel where you can become an exclusive member to my channel for a small fee, monthly fee. And what you'll get with that once you become a member is I'll do live readings once a month where I'll answer questions. So you join in the chat and you won't have to, uh, you could just ask me a question and I'll pull cards for that. So I'm hoping to at least start with five and I haven't checked to see how many I got yet. So, um, you know, how many people have joined the membership. It's not an obligation. I'm not going to change anything about my monthly readings. Um, this is just a perk for those of you who wish to become members. Okay, so these cards are gigantic. So let me just give one more shuffle here. Oh, um, so to join, to become an exclusive member, there's a link below. Once you click on that link, um, as far as I know, you it'll take you to where you can join. Um, I don't really know too much about that aspect because um, I can't view it from my side. So if you have any problem, just shoot me an email or leave me a comment somewhere about it. Okay, one more shuffle here. And I hope everyone has a very happy Halloween, or did. See what the energy is for Taurus. Okay. All right. You'll be able to see these once I get the cards down. Starting with the Eight of Wands, Three of Swords. Queen of Swords. So because it's a general reading, that can be the Queen or King of Swords. The High Priestess. Six of Pentacles. Four of Wands. The Empress, Six of Wands, and the Hangman. Okay. Now, your overall love message. 
using Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels cards here. What is the love message for Taurus for November? And just remember, we're coming out of Venus etro uh, retrograde, November 15th or 16th, depending on where you are. So the love message for Taurus. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So this reading's November. Holidays are coming. Okay, so the key word here is enjoy. Enjoy yourself for this holiday season. No matter what happens, try your best to find the joy and happiness with someone. Okay, um, if you're with that person, no arguing, no fights, no bringing up or allowing someone else to bring up past issues, just enjoy. Okay, so let's get to your reading here. Past situation, Eight of Wands. There may have been travel. Someone came to see you. You went to see them. There was trips that were taken. Um, Lots of positive news in the past. Uh, some of you are dealing, or there could have been a Sagittarius involved, could have been an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Virgo. Uh, I said Libra. Could be another Taurus. Okay. So anyway, uh, the Eight of Wands, I feel like there was this is an action card in the sense where there was a lot of communication, positive news, positive communication. Um, some of you received emails or positive things like that uh, in through email, positive news through mail. Someone in the past came tell you something. It was very positive, uh, quick, sudden. It was sudden. It was something that was unexpected. Not tower, towerish, but it just came out of the blue. But positive. Okay. The present situation, and I feel like that could have something to do with whoever it is that you are inquiring about. That person reached out to you about something, some type of news that made everything better. And the length of your relationship with this person could be anywhere from a month ago, a few weeks, a few days, to years. But whatever, whatever the news was, this was something that was unexpected and something that you still think of today. Now, the present situation, though, is the Three of Swords. Sorry, I need to get a drink. Um, so that Three of Swords, some type of um, heartache, heartbreak, some type of an argument. So it seems to me that you went from something, there was something good that was happened that happened in the past that then suddenly came down to something bad. And it just went from that to that. Some of you, someone that you were connected to told you that they were leaving someone. Or that they ended a relationship with someone. And that person is currently having a lot of argument with them. Or there's a lot of trouble currently with this person whoever they were, whoever they are, and whoever they were splitting away from or trying to get away from, there's still some drama and issues happening in that connection between your person and their other person. And this could have to do with an air sign, but in this position here, this is their thoughts on the situation. And 
they feel, well, they think that if it was the case of them leaving someone else and dealing um, with a heartbreak or feeling sorrow, because this is the sorrow card, they feel it has to do with that this air sign because this air sign person um, was very harsh with their words and the things that they said and very blocked emotionally. There was no connection there, and that's probably why they were, came to you because there was a connection. Okay. Now, if that's not the case for, for some of you, the other message that I'm getting is... something was really great with this person and then it got bad. Something happened. There was an argument. Some type of an argument that caused a break between you. <clears throat> and they, this person, whoever you're dealing with, thinks that you're the one that started the fight. You were the one that said things that were harsh and crude and mean. And, and you know, maybe they, they deserved it. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Um, but their, from their perspective, they think that the situation, whatever caused this arguing, was harsh. Even if it was truth that needed to come out, even if it was truth that needed to be said, it was hard for them to take. It was hard for them to hear. And so when they reflect back on perhaps the last conversation that you both had, their reflection on that is he or she was really mean, like said some really, really cutting truths, said some things that were just wow. What this person thinks of you though because this is their th the thoughts on the situation, that the situation was, you know, there was, it, it was cold. They think of you as a high priestess, all knowing. They know that whatever was said, you were right. They know it. They know that they deserve to get that or deserve to hear that truth. However, it was delivered. Oh, that's irrelevant. I mean, it's not that it's not irrelevant, but the message needed to be get out. The me you needed to get the message out to them. The truth needed to be told. And they know, the high priestess, they know that what you said to them or the truth that you gave them came from your gut. It wasn't something that was made up. It wasn't, they weren't lies. The king or queen of swords does not lie. <laughs> They just say it. They tell it like it is. So, I mean, look, look, I'm not saying that every single air sign is not a liar. I'm not saying that because we all, unfortunately, have this human condition where sometimes we do lie. So, but I feel like in this case, the truth that came out from you is what needed to be heard, and they know it. And they still respect you, even though it's not what they wanted to hear. And I'm not sure what happened here. I don't know. Because it seemed like things were good, and then they got not good. But I don't always feel like the Three of Swords is like a complete break. I just feel like, because swords have to do with communication and thoughts, and I feel like there's sorrow because of communication presently. And perhaps there's heartbreak because of this communication. Because threes are about communication too. So the, the high priestess, this is the number two card in this deck. And two represents partnership. And they know that in your partnership, the things that you told them Whatever it was that you needed to say, you called them out on something, you told some truths, they still think the world of you because of that. 
even though they feel like crap <laughs> because you put them in their place, whatever you needed to do. How they feel about you, the six of pentacles that you are generous, giving, stable, you seek balance, truth, and justice. And this is my success card. So their feelings toward you is that you can be depended on, you can be relied on. You're not going to be the type of person to blow smoke up someone's butt just because you want to keep them around. You, um, you're pretty independent and confident in yourself. And that's what they see in you. And that's how they feel about you. So if you're sitting here listening to this reading and this is resonating and you're doubting yourself, you know, or saying to yourself, maybe I shouldn't have said that to him or her. Maybe I shouldn't have been so truthful or so open. Maybe it's because, you know, if I could just take it all back, then they would come back. Well, no, you should stand in your truth and you should stay confident in what you told that person. You should stay confident in where you are because they actually respect you for that. Now, if they don't want to return or they can't face you, well, that's something within them. And you can't manipulate that. I mean, you can try, but you got to let them come to face their own demons. It's, it's so much easier for... <clears throat> someone to see another person's demons and it is for that person to see their own. You know, whether this is love relationship or friendship or family member, whatever occurred, stay in your truth because they're respecting that here about you. Now what this person wants The Four of Wands is here. This person wants completion. This person wants commitment. This person wants marriage. You're a person. They want that contentment, that happy family, that happy celebra celebratory Four of Wands energy. That's completion for them. That's where it happens for them. That's where they know they've succeeded. And I feel like you wanted that too. Whatever these truths were, whatever these things that were said needed to be said in order for them to realize that you really are the one for them. that you're not going to um, ever be that person that just is a people pleaser. You're just not that person. And they don't want that person. So if, again, if you're doubting yourself, don't. Don't doubt yourself. Stay in your truth. Now what you need to know about this person, you have the Empress card here. So if you're a male listening, um, you could be dealing with a Libra. This person, if you're a male listening, she may be pregnant. She may be taking pregnancy hormones or she may be taking, she may be on birth control. She may be on um, female hormone stuff, maybe going through men menopause stages or something that's uh, causing um, a bit of stability, mental st or things. She may be on this now. Uh, maybe there were things that were causing mental instability within her and emotional instability. Um, she, may, this person, if she, if she's not on any of that stuff or the any kind of hormones, she's wanting pregnancy. She's wanting a new beginning. She wants to be a mother. This is what is most important to her. If she wants to be one or she is one, her female. Um,
repro uh, uh, reproduction is very important to her. She may be going through some changes, having, um, there might be some type of, um, there was, maybe there was an operation, or she's, there, there may have been an abortion. There may have, there may be um, hysterectomy, something that caused some friction or something that caused something that happened. <clears throat> She's, she may be waiting for child. Look at the, um, you see her arms there as if she's holding a baby or hoping to hold a baby in that lotus flower for growth and new beginnings. The swan. Waiting. Waiting for that. Yeah, so some of that energy I feel could be playing out. Now, if you're a female listening, um, this is what your other person wants. Now, I'm not going to get into like um, gender preference, anything like that. You, you know who your person is. I'm just calling out the male and female. So <clears throat> if you're female listening, you know, this person wants those same things. Um, if you're female with another female, your person is going through some type of fertility, there's fertility changes or uh, transgender changes or cha changes in um, hormones. It's happening right now. They're, they're, so there's, there's stuff, uh, this is not necessarily what this card means, but this is what I'm picking up. Um, and if you're male and this is your male, then um, this is what they want, children, child. They want you to have the baby if you're trying to have a child, um, they want you to think about that. They, they wanted a child. If you weren't sure, and some of you aborted, if there was a miscarriage, they want to try again, or they want another. Um, or they miss your children a lot. Or they miss... The, chi the, chi the children. They also want you to know um, what they think about you or what you need to know about them is that they, they truly do respect and honor you in that empress way, that you are the mother of all mothers, or even if you're not a mother, you represent all things goddess and femininity to them even when you're in your truth. And that's what they're respecting about you. Your intuition, your maternal instinct, your intuition, your ability to connect, your empathetic nature. Your advice, and I was giving you this before I even saw this card, when I was saying here to stay in your power, six of wands, stay in a place of victory. You were not wrong. with what you said, with what you, with what you did, with what you told them. Because you, you did this from your gut, your intuition, you, you knew what you were doing was right. You knew what you said was what needed to be said and you knew it was the truth. So your advice is to stay in that victory place, in your place of power in your pr place of triumph and truth. The outcome is the hanged man. So this is now, we'll get to the point where you both, <coughs> I feel like I'm having trouble breathing. You both will get to this place of now looking at this situation from a different angle, from a different point of view. Because you staying in your power and in your truth is what's going to promote healing in this connection. The other thing was coming to me, what you need to know about this person is that they also miss their mother, or they're thinking about their mother, or their mother is very important to them. The mother may have also intervened as well 
And the message they want to tell you is that, yes, mom intervened. Should she have? Don't know. Maybe not. Maybe so. But their mother is very important to them. And they're, they're telling me to say that that's something that you have to respect, even if you don't like that woman. Because she's important to them. That is just a message that was coming out. I know some of you are going to say, his damn mother, my mother-in-law is this, that, this, that. And I see that. If that was, you know, her energy, the energy there, I see that. <laughs> the Princess of Swords. Harsh, cutting, gossipy. Not always gossipy, but, you know, just says, runs her mouth. <laughs> All right, right, let's. let me just pull a um, clarifying card for the hangman. The hangman is accepting the situation and trying to take... Uh, trying to see it from a, a unique perspective, from a different view. And I, I, I see this all the time. There's no reality to anything. And and what so the example of that is that, let's say there's 10 Taurus people watching this video. You're each going to have a different perception of this reading. And then there's my perception of the reading. So what's the true reading? I can, couldn't tell you. Don't know. So it's kind of like you'll watch this video and then a week later you'll watch it again and pick up different things. And that's where you get that different unique view of what you actually thought it was the first time. It actually changes because your perception when you hear different things, you know, and, and that's what I see the outcome is here that you both will begin to take a different approach to this connection or a different way of healing it or a different way of viewing it. And that might be what this honeymoon card is about. Maybe not arguing, maybe not trying to force the point on each other or trying to say who's right or who's wrong, but instead take this holiday time to enjoy yourself together. You know, for those of you who are asking, well, is this person going to come back? You know, we've been split up. We had this horrible argument or, you know, we haven't talked to each other. I'm not necessarily seeing that happening here. Because I think that there needs to be an understanding first. You know, because some of you do have this sense of feeling like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. If they just come back... I'll just change my perspective or I'll say something or I'll do something different or I'm, I prom make promises. I won't talk, you know, say things like that and things like that, blah, 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 blah. That's not what your advice is. Your advice here is to stay in your truth and believe in, in your belief. And I think all of that needs to occur first. You know, the holidays go all the way until December so this is only November, and I feel like this is the time for you to try to gain a different perspective or a different approach, maybe perhaps from their eyes, from their view, to try to come to an understanding and peace. Okay, the stars here. Yep. Believe in your beliefs, but maybe take a look. Um, try to have faith that all will be well in this connection. Get that faith first. The star can be an Aquarius. So some of you could be dealing with Aquarius. Someone is this could be someone directly you're dealing with or someone else who's an Aquarius. There's some type of healing that needs to happen with an Aquarius for some of you. You know, there's also this uh, religious view that I feel some of you <clears throat> maybe were raised with or um, this moral code, um, something's still affecting you from like a religious standpoint. And that's why the hangman is here, is um, maybe calling you to um, take a new look a unique new view or look at your faith. 
it's okay if you question your faith. It's okay to question it. It's okay to ask, is this really what I believe? Is that really what I was in belief of? Or were these just things I was taught to believe? But do I really believe them? Because this is a healing card. So either that there's an Aquarius who's going to bring healing to you, will help you gain a unique perspective <clears throat> on this past situation, this situation, or um, a unique perspective on your belief system. Water is always healing energy, and it's pouring that emotion, dumping those emotions. There's some type of emotions that you have had blocked for so long that you need to release now. And this hanged man, you know, he's upside down on like a cross. If you want to talk religion, then this would represent that the Holy Cross, Christianity. In the reverse, this is taking a different look at that, questioning things. It's strange the way the messages are coming out because I I know some of you are just like scratching your heads like, what are you talking about? This doesn't even fit me. I don't even know this, like I don't get it. And and if you don't get it, you know, that's it's the way my, I guess the way my readings come out. If this does, that's why I said in the beginning, if it doesn't resonate for you, don't force it. You might hear, bits and pieces that might trigger and that's all that you needed to hear. But this card is important for you during this holiday season. Um, what's family members or loved ones, people you care about and they about you? Um, there's an angel watching over all of you. And this angel is guiding you, is guiding all of you to health and healing. So if you need to put res um, grudges and things like that on the back burner for the holidays, it's the best time to do it. And maybe deal with these things at a later time. But there is definitely healing coming here, and that's, I feel, being the advice delivered to you. Definitely stay in your power. Don't question yourself. Question your beliefs. Broaden your horizons. Especially as it pertains to something that may have happened in a situation with someone. Doesn't mean you have to take everything back. You shouldn't. And I don't think that person wants you to take anything back because they respect you for standing in your truth. But more on a personal level, without them being in the picture, asking yourself, do I really believe those things? Or, you know, is that really what I want? So I feel like your reading was super spiritual. And um, I'm going to end it here. But again, if you want to get a personal reading, link is description box below. And uh, I think I'm just going to stop here and go get a drink. And I will um, see you guys next month. Okay, take care. Bye.